Meta is confirming massive layoffs across some of their biggest sub companies, like Instagram, WhatsApp, and their VR department. Not as much as Meta is also shutting down and closing down, a lot of the experimental departments are not profitable, like the Metaverse. That was an absolute disaster. Billions of dollars being spent for basically nothing. They lost so much money in that. Right now, Meta is deciding to lay off people. They want to consolidate. And it's not just Meta, guys. Every single tech company that you could imagine, from Cisco to Apple, from IBM to Intel, everyone is laying off employees by the thousands. And look into this. Meta, which started layoffs all the way back in 2022, slashed about 11,000 workers. In 2023, they slashed about 10,000 workers. And we're going to be seeing even more cuts this year in 2024 as thousands of workers will be fired. Now, Zuckerberg basically said that the company wants to be efficient. And the most expensive thing for any company to have is going to be employees. Unfortunately, that is the true thing. Not to mention, AI right now is being so powerful that a lot of people's jobs are being replaced by artificial intelligence. They're making small cuts in different divisions, and there's not even really any sort of like enormous amount of layoff like what Intel is doing, like 15,000 workers gone. But when you have a few thousand and a few hundred here and there throughout the weeks, it's still like a really fat number. If you look into Meta, you can clearly see that they're drastically reducing their office space. Ever since 2023, they've slowly started this. So if you look at Meta, they've reduced a humongous chunk of office space in San Francisco. 181 Fremont, which is a huge skyscraper, including condos. The tech giants will be keeping 250 Howard Streets, but... 181 Fremont is going to be for sublease. This is a huge office they dumped. Nearly half a million square footage of office space has been dumped. They only have one office, 250 Howard Street, but it's not as big as a skyscraper one. If you look at this, Meta announced it's planning to downsize its office space with a goal of making spaces more dynamic. Now, it's too early to see if these changes will impact office space in the Bay Area, but at the current moment, we know that Meta is now trying to spend hundreds of millions of dollars closing down office buildings. Check this out, guys. Last year, Meta spent $3.5 billion shrinking itself. $2.5 billion spent on facilities consolidation, which basically means closing and combining offices. Now, they also spent a billion dollars for severance and personal cost, which is layoffs. And the company is already decreasing a ton of employees, 22% decrease over the past year. So many people are gone from Meta. So many office buildings are now closed. And the really crazy thing is Google spent about $600 million closing down office buildings. Meta spent about $2.5 billion on closing offices. Meta is really consolidating, guys. I think Meta and some of these like very software-heavy companies probably hired like way too many people during the pandemic. Because like during the pandemic, everyone was indoors on their phones. Everyone was playing video games. And thus, they hired too many people. And just spending a billion dollars on severance and laying off people is really enormous cost that I've never seen in any other company. They're also leaving their Austin office. And there's still big companies within Austin, but Meta particularly is trying to close out these offices, fire employees. And the reason why is they feel like there's a financial storm. Even J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon says there's like a 35% chance of a full-blown recession. Right now, interest rates are very high. The feds are not necessarily lowering interest rates as fast as everyone thought. And many people feel like interest rates will be around for a lot longer, which means more companies will probably go bankrupt, especially the small companies. And the big companies won't expand as much as before. And look at this. Meta stock also plunges every once in a while. Earnings are also really icky with Meta. Like Mark Zuckerberg back in April had his net worth plunged by almost $20 billion because of Meta stock price drop. And then at the end of the day, it's just a lot of projects. Many of them are not profitable. We're seeing Meta just over hiring in the past. And you know, back in 2019, all the tech companies were expanding like crazy in the office sector in the Bay Area. But now it's 2024. It's five years since you know the pandemic almost. We're seeing a lot of these companies simply leaving. They feel like California, many of its cities are no longer safe. That's another thing. Safety is a big priority. 
And um, a lot of these companies are noticing artificial intelligence is so good that they could lay off a lot more employees than before.